Hi friends, welcome back to another Tesla Stock Weekly Analysis. I know it's not Tesla news, but Crew Dragon has landed. Welcome back home. SpaceX has officially taken the lead in space and the gap is only going to get bigger. Reusable rockets are much safer because you cannot simulate everything. So when the rockets come back, you know, SpaceX is able to like check every single part and identify the risk by physical examination and the safety factor goes up drastically. As mentioned last week, I kind of saw the stock price going to like go sideways. It's funny how it came back down to the $1,400 level through the last five trading days. A quick recap of last week, how did I identify this support line is because there's a big gap up here and every big gap up at the base of a big gap up there is a strong support and that is where the stock price came down and it stopped right here and that was how i kind of knew like this is the new support line so now if i drag the support line further forward you notice that it is a pretty good entry point and i foresee the stock moving around this line here moving forward until some kind of news come up again and that will drastically change the movement of the stock if there is no like big news like s p 500 inclusion like stock stock split and stuff I foresee the stock just moving sideways and I do not see any new momentum drivers. So I foresee the stock going to consolidate for a little while. I'm not too sure how long until the news come out. Before I move on to the news, I appreciate an early thumbs up. It helps a lot on YouTube to reach more people. Thank you. The China-US relationship is affecting Tesla share price and I'm getting quite a lot of these questions in the comments. So let's talk about trade war and how this will affect you and Tesla. See, trade war brings one of the highest uncertainties among other so many uncertainties. Reading the news on this kind of shit, you can imagine the amount of investors sitting on cash before, during and after COVID. They rather miss out on gains because they are uncertain. I just want to say, nothing in life is certain other than taxes and death. So, back to the trade war issue. If it really goes like full-blown, almost all companies will be affected, not only Tesla. However, the companies who are less reliant on others will become even stronger. Tesla it is so vertically integrated. I believe that the trade war will give them a stronger position if it really happens. So no worries on trade war. Look, if you see the entire history of the Chinese, we only want to trade. We don't start wars. We just want to trade. Think about the Silk Road and going back to like 130 BC. The Chinese government will do all they can to prevent trade wars. So I'm not worried. Giga Texas looking pretty big. If you look at the scale of Giga Texas, Tesla builds factories pretty fast. So I think less than two years, you'll see production coming out of here. The Model 3 is dominating sales. Notice the Model Y over here. The Model Y is going to overtake the Model 3. It is expected that Tesla is dominating the electric vehicle market, especially now. So there are always like, like articles coming out. Tesla sales dropping. Have you seen all those? So these donkeys, they don't understand that Tesla can only ship cars to different regions like batch by batch. They don't make enough to send constant supply. And that is a problem. Tesla released the vehicle safety report. If you scroll down, Q2 2020 over Q2 2019. One accident for every 4.5 million miles driven with autopilot engaged compared to previous year's quarter at 3.27. So you can see that the autopilot is getting safer. Without autopilot, but with active safety features, is one accident every 2.27 million miles and one accident for every 1.56 million miles driven without safety features and without autopilot. Compared to normal cars where you get one accident every 479,000 miles. You know that data tell us everything and Tesla makes the safest cars in the world. Top comments from previous video. Ryan mentioned he remembers buying at 982 and people telling him that he's dumb. A lot of us Tesla investors feel that way. I still remember like last year, a lot of people telling me I was crazy buying at 300. And when the stock dropped to 100, a lot of people like say, I, I, I told you so. Guess what? It's our turn to tell them back. I told you so. The rest of the top comments were talking about my cutting edge technology. This scissors might stand. Uh, the reason why I'm changing from this to this is because it frees both my hands and it's easier for me to do this video with you guys. So do let me know in the comments below if this might stand is okay with you guys. I'm kind of like a minimalist. I try not to buy unless I absolutely have to. And this is something that I bought like 15, 20 years ago. I dug it out just to use it for the video. So concluding this video to see like Tesla stock price search, we need to see some sort of news on the SP500 inclusion or like battery day that is coming up or some kind of stock split. I still think it's cheap. 
So just dollar cost average and you know invest long term. Appreciate those who have helped me the thumbs up earlier and as always invest safe. <laughs>